so it is our first new day aboard and uh, as a complete family unit which is quite nice yeah you have to give Nico burping in the background we've just had breakfast so uh, already been out for a long dog walk and now it's time to set to work whilst dog's tired and uh, my first port call is I'm going to try and put the curtains up and Phil is just finishing off the last solar panel we found last night that the batteries that were originally on board the boat just aren't quite holding up with what we're asking it to do which to be honest isn't a lot we've got the fridge and the telly running and occasionally the little fan and that was it um, and yeah it's just jumping all over the place it's not a great surprise because we know nothing about the history of those batteries um, but yeah it just means that getting the solar panel running is now you know quite high up the priority list so yeah here we go. One happy puppy. Two happy puppies. So uh, I think we're getting the hang of this boat lock because it's not quite been 24 hours yet. But we're looking pretty good. So I start by grabbing all the curtains, the rail and the hook and eyes and pop them on the table all paired up and uh, i start by putting the eyes into the window frames and then i can measure off the rail i'm using like neck curtain wire sort of thing to do it and i make sure to cut it slightly undersized because it is quite stretchy and i want it to hold the curtains tight to the window i then fit one hook to one side of the rail and thread the curtains on so going in and out in and out so we get a nice sort of concertina when they're closed and then I put the other hook on and attach it to the window. I then rinse and repeat for as many windows have frames which is mostly just the living area and the plan for the kitchen is to put blinds up so they won't have curtains either. And I have to say I'm really really thrilled with how these curtains turned out. Um, bear in mind I didn't have a clue and I literally bought a very nice set of curtains from the range and then hacked them up to make them the right size i'm really really thrilled with how they came out i'm also quite impressed with my ability to um, pattern match which i'll be honest wasn't intentional uh, but one particular set of curtains just match up absolutely identically and yeah really really pleased with that wish it was something i'd noticed earlier because a couple of them are a little bit off um not that you really notice but yeah I was really really pleased with how they came out. So I'm just sitting on the bank chilling at the moment. Um, I haven't got the dogs with me. I am trying to sort of train them so they can stay in the boat for short periods of time. You know long enough to go to the toilet, have a shower, that sort of thing. And uh, they're doing really well actually. I can't hear a peep out of them which is good. And uh, Phil's nipped out to wicks gonna get a couple of bits just so you can finish off what he's doing the solar panels are all up now and wired and working and it's fabulous so all that battery problem from last night is gone and uh, so yeah really really pleased and it is a glorious sunny day here so plenty of power going in which is exactly what we were hoping for uh, i've managed to get all the curtains up now or the ones that I can because we still haven't got all of the window frames in place so that helps it's uh, making it a bit cooler in there now as well and uh, yeah all in all it feels like it's been a really successful first day of our new lives and uh, really the plan is you know finish off the boat get it up and running and then uh, we can get cruising and uh, having felt like it was quite far away it's uh, getting closer all the time really really enjoying this it's uh, so peaceful so so peaceful i love it one of the items that phil picked up whilst he was out was a larger higher gain aerial now anyone who has watched our shorts will know that i bought a 12 pound amazon aerial and i said i was very impressed with it that still remains the case i am highly impressed with it but that said where we are there's an awful lot of um, aircraft going around and it really really interrupts whatever you're trying to watch so we've decided that maybe a larger aerial will help improve things so yeah that's the plan still very impressed with the little aerial and it will 
probably have its use in the future um, but yeah just all the time we're stationary we will go with the bigger aerial and something that really annoyed me about this aerial actually is I've put a handful of these together over the time because um, it's the same type we had on the caravan and for whatever reason I just could not get the little antenna things on absolute nightmare and I had to call in the big guns with Phil fixing up the aerial for us and I'm not due to tune it in until he's done that I decided it's an opportune moment to take the woofs out for another walk and we find this really cute little war memorial on the way round uh, we're thoroughly enjoying exploring our new local area and there is just so much to see here it's absolutely glorious Something that we decided was important to do was ensure that we can open the cupboards now. Um, we're reaching the stage where protective versus usability is becoming a bit of a conundrum. And uh, so usability is winning this time. We've left it on as long as we can to you know, protect it whilst we're moving tools and timber and everything else about. Uh, but now we really just need to be able to get into our cupboards. And so, yeah, here we go, some handles. And they are now officially white as opposed to the riveting blue we've had until now. This was followed by a quick bout of washing and a lot of you have asked for a full video on how my little USB washing machine works and so if that's not already gone out it will be going out soon uh, just to show you how it does. So it's probably about time I showed you guys the solar panels that Phil has been working on. So here we go, we've got four of them. Uh, each one is 200 watts, which gives us a total of 800 watts of solar panel. As you can see, it's beautiful and sunny today, so plenty of power going in. And they all tilt one way or the other without match, you know, uh, hitting each other if they are level. Um, these little solar panels down here run the lights. I don't know if you can see them. They do come on and off, just means you can see if you're out here of an evening. And then what we're doing at the moment is uh, where we've red oxided the roof so far is good, but it's not quite far enough. So um, we need to get all of these cables here in some. So one of the things we need to do is get all these cables into some chunking. So we're just scraping off some of the flaky paint and got a red oxide a channel for that. We will, of course, in due time, do all the rest of the roof. And I, of course, brought my strawberries with me. And in case you're wondering, the mutts are good, um, but they're very tired from their walk this morning. And when I offered to take them out again, they were like, please, mum, no. So, uh, yeah, we're just letting them chill. And with that, Phil continues to grind down the roof and yeah this is pretty much setting the tone for the next few days of our lives really and uh, yeah there's quite a lot of boat to get done but as always guys thank you so much for joining us we really do love having you with us and uh, we hope to hear from you in the comments and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes next time take care guys bye